Welcome back. April 7th, National Coffee Cake Day. Hope you're making this one in the morning, or make it the night before for the morning. Either one, doesn't matter. Makes a great brunch uh, coffee cake too, if you're having people over. Okay, we have everything set up here, what we're going to need for today. This recipe is a family passed down recipe. Um, so it's kind of got some special meaning to it too. Uh, we've had this a bunch of times. It's really really good probably one of the best coffee cakes I've ever had okay so please feel free to try this recipe yourself see what you think I'm sure there's ways you can add some more stuff to it if you want it's kind of basic uh, not a lot of ingredients as you can see we're going to be using our bun pan today so if you have a bun pan today's the day to use it alrighty so let me show you what we need and let's get started Okay, for the coffee cake part today, you need one stick of butter at room temperature, a cup of sugar, two cups of flour, three eggs, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of vanilla, one eight ounce container of sour cream, and two cups of chopped walnuts. Okay, for the topping part of our coffee cake, we need four tablespoons of butter softened to room temperature, three tablespoons of flour, a cup of packed brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and a cup of reserved walnuts from the first two cups of walnuts. Okay? Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I have my mixer out here, but technically this isn't a recipe that you're going to be using your mixer. We'll explain as we go along. Uh, I'm only using it for this first part, which is to cream the eggs, the butter, and the sugar together. And then the rest of this we're going to do in a regular bowl by hand. Okay, that's what this recipe calls for. Technically, you could do your eggs, butter, and sugar by hand with a, you know, with a whisk if you want, and or a, a spatula, and do that by hand. You don't even have to use this mixer at all. I just like for this part of it, for the creaming of the sugar and eggs part, to do it in the mixer. Okay, I don't want to put that back on there. So we're going to put our stick of room temperature softened butter our three eggs, and oops, I really suck at cracking eggs, I just want to say that. I've tried and tried and tried and I just suck at it. <laughs> and our sugar. Okay, and we are going to put this in our mixer and cream it and we'll be back. Alrighty, and then as soon as that's ready, you can shut that off. In the meantime, put your oven on 350 to start preheating. Take your bun pan and spray it or whatever you do, whether you grease and flour it. Just want to make sure that it's well coated so we get a nice release of our cake, okay? I use this Baker's Joy stuff. Works pretty good. Uh, alrighty. Now, the next thing you're going to do, I thought we might need that bigger bowl, but actually we're not going to. Because we're just going to mix it right in this bowl. Why dirty another bowl? See, there's my mixer bowl started in here. What you're going to do now is you're going to sift your flour, which, you know, I still got to get a bigger sifter. I keep saying that. You're going to sift your flour and your baking soda into this mixture. Okay, into your egg mixture here is my baking soda. Okay, so just sift all that in and we'll get on to the next step. So we have that in there, and we're just going to mix that flour a little bit together. Now we're doing the rest of this by hand. Do not use your mixer anymore, okay, because from what I've been told of this recipe, it hardens the dough up if you overwork it too much with like a mixer, okay. So you're just going to do this part by hand, which is fine because, you know, we get always give ourselves a nice 
exercise workout. You won't have to do arms at the gym today, okay? <laughs> okay, and then once you kind of got that mixed in there, you're going to add your 8 ounce container of sour cream, the whole thing. And your vanilla. Okay, and then you're just going to incorporate this all together until you have a lumpy dough. Oh, you got to add half of your walnuts too. Forgot about that. Okay, dump that in there too and just keep mixing this. It's going to be a very clumpy, lumpy dough and that's what we want. Okay, we don't want a, uh, we don't want a smooth batter on this one. We want nice and clumpy. I guess I'm going to use my big bowl anyway. Uh, now we're going to make the topping part. Our batter is ready here. So what you want to do is take that four tablespoons or half a stick of room temperature butter. Okay, you're going to take your three tablespoons of flour first and kind of mash that all together. Okay, because we want to mix this in. It's good if you use a fork because it'll help break it up into smaller pieces. Okay, then to that you're going to add your brown sugar, your cinnamon, and the other cup of walnuts. Okay, you're just going to mix this all together. It's almost like a like a crumb topping that you know once you bake it, once it starts to bake, um, the butter in this will melt it and make it all together, almost like a like a a crisp or you know a crisp topping when you make like apple crisp or something that's kind of what this is going to turn into and you have a layer of this in the middle of the cake too which is really kind of cool because that way you get all these flavors throughout the cake okay so let me finish this up and make sure this is well incorporated and we'll be right back all right so we're ready to assemble this there is our batter and as you'll see it's this thick chunky batter so you want to put half of this into your pan just try to spread it out as best you can I know because it's so thick it's hard to get it to it's not like a creamy batter that you know that you can just pour half of it in it's kind of like you gotta drizzle half of it in okay so that looks looks about half maybe maybe yeah. that looks about half okay so now I'm just going to try to spread this along the bottom as best I can just try to make it as even as possible I mean it's all gonna once it starts to bake it's just gonna fill in anyway okay but try to make it as even as possible along the bottom and then what you're going to do is take half of this crumb mixture and just sprinkle it on the top okay just want to make sure you leave enough left for the other part when we put this on the top top okay so there's that Put that layer in and then just repeat and do the same thing. Put the rest of your batter and then the rest of the crumb topping. Alrighty, be right back when it's ready for the oven. Okay, there it is. All done, ready for the oven. That final layer of the topping goes on. Okay, it's going in a 350 oven. 30 to 45 minutes baking. Keep your eye on it. I always say that, I know. Um, especially when you're using like these darker pans. Sometimes they tend to cook things a little bit faster, so you want to keep an eye. Toothpick inserted, comes out clean, you're good to go. Alrighty, so we'll keep our eye on this, we'll see it when it comes out. Alrighty, there she is. Did I tell you this was going to be a beautiful cake or what? Look at that. Okay, that's the top layer. You can actually flip it over and do the bunt thing if you wanted to, maybe drizzle some of that like uh, icing on it like you do on cinnamon rolls or something. Hmm, that's a good idea. I've never tried that. That might be worth trying next time. We'll see. But for now, we're going to cut a nice piece of this coffee cake so I can show you what it looks like. 
Plus, I'm dying to have a piece. I haven't had this in a while. So I'm dying to really get in there. Try it. See, there's that layer of the topping in the middle of the cake here. Okay, so let's give this a try. It's almost like a pound cake or pound cake ish. Mm. You got the cinnamon and the walnuts, and the, oh my god, this is such a good coffee cake. It's not morning, but I don't care. I'm having it anyway. <laughs> mm. Really, really good. It's it's got that denseness like a coffee cake, and just the right amount of sweetness with the cinnamon and the sugar in that crumb mixture. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, best coffee cake, one of the best I've ever had. So if you want to make coffee cake, this is the one to make. Alrighty, National Coffee Cake Day. Get some coffee and get some cake. See you tomorrow. <laughs>